Hey friends, it's Brian and it's time for another HVAC video. So we're gonna work on line set insulation today because that's one of those critical things that's got to get done. So let's go look at the unit and I'll explain what we're gonna do and then I'll get set up for it. So it's important to insulate this suction line and so that's what I'm gonna be working on today and I've got some Armaflex. So let me go grab it and a knife and I'll be right back. So Armaflex is a closed cell foam and that's what particularly makes it really good. And so first thing we wanna do is we wanna figure out how long this piece needs to be. And then we wanna cut it at an angle. And any razor blade will work. Uh, Armaflex does not like to be uh, bent around things. It'll, uh, the instruction manual for Armaflex actually suggests that you miter the joints. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so now I've got that open. Now what I'm gonna do is slit this open and The local supply house did not have this in pre-split, which is okay. It's unfortunate, but I'll live. Now I'm using the one inch thick, which should give me about an R8 value. They also, it also comes in a half inch. Um, but, you know, this was like 7 or $8 a, a six-foot piece. Really very, very affordable. And then we're just going to slide it on here. Now, I'm using 7 eighths, which is not... That's fine until we get to this point here where it's actually 5 eighths tubing. But, again, this will all work out. So there we've got the line set insulation. We still need a line set cover, but you know, it kind of is what it is. Now I see a little bit of a problem here. Let me show you guys what I see. So this thing is catching water. So I'm gonna get a drill and drill a hole in this so this doesn't breed mosquitoes because I really don't like mosquitoes. Okay, so there's nothing magical here other than I'm just gonna drill into the bottom of this. And we're going to take it out of hammer drill mode. And that'll let all the water out of there, which will make it inhospitable to mosquitoes. When you drill this hole, make sure you get all the crap out of here. And then don't use a small uh, drill bit because it'll just promptly clog with crap. Um, and that's from either my sprinklers or recent rains. So next, we've already got a miter cut, so why reinvent the wheel? We're gonna reuse that miter cut. And then we need to cut this in half. Probably need to take a little bit more off this. And there we go, we've got a miter cut. It's not perfect, it, it still needs to be sealed. So let me go get some tape to just kind of hold this all together and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm gonna start with just a small piece and as I've said before, the hardest part of this is getting this tape free. And 
I'm actually gonna break this into little pieces here. So that's not going to work real well, but that's okay. We'll just over tape it. And another small piece in the bottom. So one of the things you can do when you get to this stage is tent the foil a little bit and that'll stop it from curling up on itself. So you got to protect the tubing from uh, airflow, otherwise it just doesn't do a whole lot of good. All right, so that's it. We've got this whole thing uh, enclosed and protected. And that's what we want to see. I'm going to pick up my trash here real quick and put it in the trash. And then we're going to go inside and work on the part that's upstairs. It'll be a lot nicer up there because it's air conditioned. Alright, so here we are again, and we need to come out to about here and make a miter cut again. And 
let's get it sealed up. Looks like my clearance is going to be a little suspect, so I'm going to have to add some wood to this because that ain't going to work, so not a big deal. That drain pan has only been used a couple times, and it's been when I've done something stupid, so... I am quite literally not worried about it. But I do want to join my older insulation to this Armaflex. This spot in particular would have been good for half inch, but it's okay. And again, we're going to... So I can bring you guys a little closer to this. If you tent this, you can work with it a little better. Definitely not going to win any aesthetics awards here. And remember I said I had this cutoff, or maybe you didn't, but actually we're gonna we're gonna come in here with this. So that's the other half of this. So we'll just come in like this. And we do need a little piece in here, so we'll just jam this in here. And then this. And then we are going to mummify this. So I'm reverse tenting it this time because I want to come in from here and I want there to be extra that I can go down here with. Oh, and I missed. There we go. And it still looks like shit, but I'm going to add some more from the other side. Hopefully between the insulation and the ceiling, we do not have very much con much of a condensation issue going on here. Maybe one more piece. Now, they do make a contact adhesive for this, but I couldn't find any of it. Um, right now I need more insulation, so let me grab that and I'll be right back. All right, so I've got this and Another miter cut. So we're gonna come up like this. And actually, Once I slid it, I found that it'll just pull apart. All right. 
So I've got a miter down there and a miter up here. And let me put this together so it'll stay still. So that looks pretty darn good. Yeah, if I was going to build another house, it, I would not start with an old building again. Uh, there are times when this is an exercise in frustration, and this mechanical space is one of them. So I'm going to turn this this way and come over here and go, okay, what do we need? So there it. Nice clean split that way, and then we're going to come in like this. Now these miters are a little bit hard to tape, so we're going to start in the back where it's going to be the most difficult. We'll slip through here, secure to that. Okay, so I don't know if I can get a piece in there or not. Let me see. So how tall does it need to be? About that tall. So you can see it just very cleanly splits. not going to be able to get anything in there. So I've got some other stuff that this machine came with. I'll be right back. So the unit came with some China flax. That's what I'm going to nickname it. It's, it's a armor flex type closed cell. Uh, it, And we're just going to use this to get some insulation going on here. It 
it does call for, you can actually see right here, it calls for this to be encapsulated. It actually wants both of them, so we'll go ahead and do what it wants before we do what I want. So at this point, other than that little hole, we are done. And we're going to plug that little hole with a piece of tape. It's not very pretty, but hey, thanks for watching. Um, that's all she wrote. And uh, again, I appreciate you watching my little video. Stay tuned. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you find out when I release new videos. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below.